Hello and welcome to episode 100 of the Mouse's Makes Knitting podcast. My name is Mandy, sometimes known as Mouse. This is Miss Poppy, my co-host. Today is Poppy's birthday. Poppy and her brother Rocky are four today. And I'm pleased to report that her sprained ankle is completely healed. So, you're all better, aren't you? Looking forward to tuna later. They share a can of tuna on birthdays. Right. Whip updates. I have no finished objects. I am... Um, Picked too soon, finished object wise. I think I'm just wondering if I can. I don't know why I'm moving the table because you're not on the table, you're on my desk, so that's going to make no difference at all, is it? Hang on while I just. Oh! Sorry. Is that any better? Not really. You nearly fell on the floor as well. Oh well. It's much, much later in the day than I normally um, record because I had trouble dragging myself out of bed this morning and I went straight on to Zoom. So it's now, I don't even know what the time is, about three o'clock, I think. I think so. Um, and while it feels warm and the sky is bright, it's quite clouded over. So as you can see, my glasses are trying to darken. But the ambient light is not very good, so usual story really, isn't it? I may be looking a little bit windswept and haggard. I, Dave and Ewan were away for the weekend on a work thing and so I was left to my own devices and completely wore myself out doing nothing terribly interesting I dyed some yarn and I just like made myself food but there seemed to be an awful oh and I did laundry there was a lot of carrying things up and down stairs and up and down the garden which also involves stairs and um yeah I just I'm very very tired today so that never augurs well does it and I've just realized I forgot to get something out that I will need later on so Prepare for a pause coming later. Right, this is your triangular morning. I know some of you don't like to look at it. It makes you feel a bit weird. So I have fished it out again. I, I finished it. No, I finished working on it on the 19th of May last year. And so I thought, well, I'll get it back out on the 20th of May. And I'll start. And then, of course, on the 20th of May, I forgot. So I'm already three days behind. Um, and I haven't really started it yet. So that's not doing terribly well either, is it? I'll show you. I'll, re I'll refresh your memories. This is what we've got so far. If it's going to make you feel weird, don't look. So this is it so far. I don't know what you can see. Almost and today I've added in somewhere where is it there I've added in this triangle today I'd forgotten how because it's been a year since I did it and I got the pattern out and I had a look and I was knitting away and I knit to I suppose about that much and I said to the ladies on Zoom, this isn't looking the same as the others. I think I'm doing something wrong. And it turned out that I was in fact doing something wrong because I'd done a Mandy and not read the pattern properly. So I had to pull that down and start again. So this little triangle took me about two hours, which is excessive. I'm hoping to catch up with myself by the end of today and then make myself knit a triangle a day as I'm supposed to be doing until I've got a whole year's worth done. How well that's going to work out I don't know 
I suspect that I will lose steam sometime in the next couple of months and if not then then probably come December when I want to be knitting um, advent things you can tell I'm tired I won't want to be knitting this which is a shame because I'll be so close to finishing it then I'm just gonna have some water sorry so I don't know it will get finished at some point because when I pull it out and look at it I think oh I love it so much I love the colors and I particularly I love the texture because it looks like a quilt so it will get finished at some point um, but yeah I'm, I'm gonna try and work on it every day now don't keep asking me to see it though just in case what I'll try and do is what I used to do was I'd give you an update each month um, Don't keep asking where it is. <laughs> okay, other things I have been working on. My summer sorrel. You may remember that I had to pull this down. I'm back to where I was when I had to pull it down, except that I've gone down two sizes, so there's less depth to the yoke as well. So it's actually seven rows shorter than it was when I had to pull it down but it's the same point in the pattern I'm not sure that's making any sense I'm going to stop trying to explain it so I've got this much I'm a little concerned that it's still going to be a bit too big but not as not as worried as I was before I've gone down two sizes. I don't remember if I told you this last week. So I'm now knitting a 44. I was knitting 52 or a 50. I don't remember. I think it was a 52. Am I knitting a 56? should have had the nap before I started recording this. It would have been a much more pleasurable experience for all of us. I'm knitting a 46. I was knitting a 41. 51. Yes, so it will be 8 inches smaller when it's finished. I worked that out on gauge and what have you. Once I've finished, I'm on the last chart. There are three charts for the yoke. Once I've finished the third chart, I'm going to put it on some waste yarn and try it on because I think I'm going to need to deepen the yoke anyway. I've got a little, oh, I don't know. I've got a bit further to go. But I've really, I've got to get to sort of there and I'm not sure I've got that much knitting to go. So we'll see. I've also done something to my shoulder. I've been saying, oh, I hurt my shoulder just washing my hair. But now I think about it, I probably didn't hurt it washing my hair because I fell in the garden last week and didn't fall over, but sort of fell and ended up ramming into next door's fence with my shoulder. So thinking about it, that's probably what I've done to my shoulder. This is very disjointed and all over the place. That's where I was when you saw it last week. So I have, I've, I've knit a fair bit since you saw it last. And I've just finished fading in the, um, just finished fading in the second colour, which you can see better if I show you the inside. So the fade is done. We're back to just one yarn. Yeah, my eyelet burst is still hanging up. It's just so pretty, I like to look at it. So that's coming on. 
other people in the group who started knitting at the same time as me are finishing theirs, which is a little bit disappointing, but I'm not sure they're trying to knit 50 other things as well. So, and they didn't have to pull it down and start again. So that's the, the summer sorrel is progressing. I'd like to think that by the next time you see it, I will have split for the sleeves, but we'll see. The next shawl on my Stephen West um, marathon list is the Pagona. in black and white I am sorry it's another big one um, and I have again on this one just finished striping in the second colour so last time you saw it I was there this is the little heart marker so I've done this much which, along the top edge, equates to that much either side. So, a fair bit. And I'm now on to the second colour on its own. Um, which is uh, this one. Don't know who it's by. The colours I'm using for this, you might remember if you'd seen previous episodes, I was, I had put together to make a tea um, and then there wasn't enough contrast between the first colour and the second colour, which I think really shows when you look at them together in this. I mean, you can see that there's a difference, that it changes there really. Um, but striping it into a tee there wasn't enough difference so I would like to get this finished but I don't think I'm going to be able to before the next cast on party Tonya from Calm as a Stitch and I can't remember if I told you this last week announced that there's to be another cast on party on the 10th of June and I have so much on the needles but also so much still on the list of things that I want to cast on so I'd like to get this finished so that I can cast on the next shawl that I want to knit that's not on my list but I don't think I'm going to because that's I mean today as I'm recording this it's the 23rd so I don't know I might do but I've got, well, this much of the second colour and then the whole of the third colour to get knit in. So mm, I'm not that hopeful. We shall see. Um, I must show you on the end here. I have some needle stops. These arrived yesterday in a parcel from my friend Nancy. She sent me her, like the little leftovers of her minis to go into my blankets and I'm going to show them to you. There's going to be crinkling. If you've got headphones on, you might want to prepare yourself for that. Because they are in a crinkly bag. Look at that. Not only are they beautiful colours, there's one in there that I might have to see if I can try and dye up a, a full skein similar. They're beautiful colours. We do have similar tastes in colours. Um, but the fact that Nancy takes the time to wind them all into these teeny weeny little balls 
it's like a big bag of boiled sweets. I just love even just looking at them, never mind using them. So thank you very much, Nancy. I finished crinkling. Um, oh, now that's on the floor as well. Excuse me while I rescue my shawl. That's that's what I've been mostly lit knitting the last week is those two things: the summer sorrel and the pagoda. Triangulum I literally just picked up this morning because I'd forgotten that I was going to go back to it. And I've cast on another pair of socks, which is a little bit naughty. But of course, Denise Dears prompt for May was Star Trek or Star Wars. I showed you my Star Trek socks. And in my Star Wars bag, I have my Star Wars socks. I'm knitting it in my Star Wars inspired colourway, which is Astral Conflict. I thought I'd pulled the needle out there. I've pulled the one that you knit with that I just put through. Oh, that was nearly a heart failure moment there. The pattern that I'm using is By the Shore by Nancy Wheeler. I've knit these socks before and they fit really nicely. I'm really quite happy with them I don't know if you can see terribly well um, it's an easy to memorize pattern repeat and I think you can see there it's like a is it feather in the fan that's the back or the, the soul rather. And I've put in um, a heel in West Yorkshire Spinners Licorice. I'm knitting these on the Cubics and it might be my imagination, but the heel, I mean, I do this a lot. I knit contrast heels, heel flap and gusset in a lot of socks. But this one seems to be particularly tight and I don't know whether um, I've pulled a little bit tighter than I normally do with the cubics. So it'd be interesting to see whether they fit as nicely as the pair I made before. I did the, the number of rows of cuff that she states in the pattern, but I've only done a little short leg. I like this length of sock to wear with leggings because they, um, they're just long enough so that you don't get a gap between the bottom of your leggings that, that feels drafty but also they don't come too far up my leg and then make my legs look really really short. Not that I ever leave the house in leggings but well, I do if I've got a dress over the top but then I probably wouldn't have socks over the top of the leggings Never mind. Yeah, so that's um, that's the first sock. Not sure I'm going to get these finished in time to enter them for May, but I really love this colourway. I know it, it's blowing my own trumpet, but I think this might be my favourite. Probably a toss up between this and a couple of the other. The Year of Yarn colourways for May and April, probably my top three that I've I've designed and I'm toying with the idea of dyeing myself up a sweater's quantity. But of course it will behave differently in a sweater than it does in a sock, so I don't know. But I just love the way all these extra colours pop up. I'm making this really difficult for myself again. I don't know if you can see but there's like dark greens and 
all sorts of colours that I didn't put in there where the colours have blended. It's quite fascinating really. Anyway, you're not here to watch me look at my sock and zone out looking at the pretty colours. I'm very tired. I'm very sorry. I can tell that this is not the usual podcast that I, I would record. And I should have had my Mac first. That'll teach me. Before I go on to showing you what I've bought myself and talk about the giveaway, because there is going to be a giveaway as this is episode 100, I thought I'd do a quick reminder because there are some knit-alongs coming to an end. None of them are mine. I'm sure I've got them written in here. But where? Bear with me. And I'm back. Right. The Test Your Limits Mal and the Take It Easy Mal, who are being run by Alex and Danny of My Yarny Corner, respectively, they finish on the 1st of June. So does the. Let me see if I can get it right this time. UAGB Eurovision. Sal, S-A-L, for um, the Eurovision Ukraine sock thing. That finishes on the 31st of May. All those are being run by Alex and Danny of Mayani Corner, so any extra information you need about those, um, watch Alex's podcast. There is a new one. I'm pretty sure it started. Um... Woolen Wishes are running a make-along for anything for hands and feet. So that's called the W-A-W, hands and feet, word and, not an ampersand, um, cow. That runs until September, but I didn't make a note of whether it was the end or the beginning of September. So again, if you go and watch their last podcast, can't remember what number it was, um, they talk about it there and I think you can also find the details on Instagram so I'm certainly going to be entering some socks I might even oh, why am I saying it I might even do some mitts I did have some mitts that I'd started um, and whips are allowed I believe so I've got one pair in particular that I haven't pulled down. I've got one finished and the other one not even cast on. Might enter those. Okay. Now, when I've finished wrestling with my diary, let's talk about the fact that this is the 100th episode. It is a short episode. And the reason for that is that I've been involved in other things and haven't had the amount of knitting time that I usually do and so for the next couple of months certainly I'm going to move from weekly to fortnightly podcasts I am sorry it feels bad now but you won't actually notice it's missing I promise um so the next one should come out on the 7th of June um, and then it'll be two weekly until I sort myself out a bit more and then we'll go back to being weekly um, but that's not what I was meant to be talking to you about what I was meant to be talking to you about was the fact that this is the 100th episode and there is a giveaway now I had something put aside for the giveaway um, and then I was very kindly gifted something else. So now there are two prizes for you to choose from. So I had put away a set of three. I'm trying to get them all up the same way. 
It just looks neat in that way, doesn't it? Yes. A set of three. These were a batch of the February Year of Yarn colourway that didn't come out the same as all the others. So I put them away for a prize. So there's that set of three and they are going as a set of three. So if you would like to win these, you need to comment below on this episode and, oh, what shall we say? Use the word purple. I would like the purple yarn, um, whatever. So that I know that this is the prize that you would like to... Oh dear, what happened? Do you have an itch? Oh dear. Um, yes, I'll know that this is, this is the, the prize that you're entering for. And then I bought something from Ducky Darlings, which I will show you in a minute. And Hayley very kindly sent this to be used as a prize. This is a sock set of spring violets, which she tells me never went into the shop. It was a, a special, well, never went onto the website, sorry. It was a special um, set and it is beautiful. It's in her 7525 um, superwash merino and nylon. And actually, it goes very nicely with the price that I've also prepared. has come to see me and discovered me recording a podcast which I'm not normally doing at this time of day so if this is the prize that you would like to enter for put sock set in your comment and can I ask that you put one or the other if you'd like to enter for both then say purple yarn and sock set because I want to be able to use the comment picker and when people say oh I don't mind either I have to do it by hand because the comment picker won't register that so you wouldn't get a chance at entering. So comment with purple yarn or sock set or if you want both, use both. And we'll draw that on the next podcast which will be the 7th of June. Right, what I bought from Ducky Darlings were these. I saw a, a post on Instagram that Misfit Mini Bundles had gone back into the shop and I love the Misfit Minis. They're a surprise, you don't know what colour you're getting. I don't know if she's got any left, probably not because they do get snapped up quite quickly. Um, and they range, that's covered in my hair, everything has got my hair on it for goodness sake. They range from, you can see that's quite a tiny little one, to that one is probably nigh on 20 grams. They're all underweight for 20 or 10 gram minis, but perfectly usable. And some of these will no doubt end up in my triangulum. And then there's my uh, fake Battenberg blanket my mini C2C squared bank blanket. They'll end up in there, certainly. So, yes. And I'm very happy with the colours. Some of them are so beautiful. It's like this one. I'd love to know what colour that is and order a full skein. I suppose I could have a look on the website. If indeed there is a full skein, they might just be um, yarns she was messing about with. But I love that. Anyway, I'm doing it again, aren't I? I'm sitting here admiring the yarn and ignoring you. It's because I'm tired. So it might be worth having a look I think they're probably all gone because, yeah, they do get snapped up quickly. I think probably 
no offence to anyone else who dyes yarn that I buy yarn from, um, Haley's yarns are probably my very favourite. Sometimes people's um, sort of colour choices just mesh with yours. Oh, the light did something weird then. Um, and I think Haley's and mine are, are very similar. Although I don't, oh, I'm just I'm rambling now because I'm tired. So I'm going to shut up rambling and I'm going to go away and have a nap and probably something to eat. I've just realised I haven't had any lunch and it's now well gone three o'clock. And my tummy is about to rumble. That's that's what alerted me to the fact I hadn't had any lunch. So I don't think there was anything else to tell you. Let me look at my diary, which I've now buried. Nope, that was everything. Shop update went live on Sunday. Thank you very much to everyone who ordered. Um, there is still plenty um, of everything. <laughs> the yarns obviously are dyed to order, so there's plenty of those. Um, if you are buying the advents, bear in mind that next Thursday, May's will come down, June's will go up. Um, might be an idea to just check that you've got all the ones you wanted and I think that's everything pretty sure that's everything so I'm going to shut up rambling and I'm going to get myself something to eat and probably have a little snooze and then look at editing this and go oh, and probably have to record it all over again so from the birthday girl and myself, happy knitting and we'll see you in two weeks. Bye guys. Hello, editing Mandy here, trying to be quiet because of the neighbours. I did forget something quite important. Um, the members Zoom, members only Zoom, um, is on the 25th of May at 8 p.m. British summer time which if you're watching this on the day it comes out is tomorrow do you like my hat I still haven't had a nap I came out here I thought I'd have a snooze in the Sun as you can see it's not terribly warm as I have got my cozy cardigan on as well yet I must still protect myself from said Sun being a delicate prickly flower so now I really am going and I will see you on the 7th of June.